Hello, this is Christopher with InMotion Hosting and a new video in our WooCommerce series. In this video we're going to be talking about blogging in WooCommerce. Now, WooCommerce is built in WordPress so it's a natural blogging platform right out of the box. Uh, however, integrating a blog into your WooCommerce store is optional. WooCommerce can function well just as a completely static site. But a store can generate some value through blogging by providing a location where customers can get information about new products, subscribe for updates, and leave comments. For example, you can have news. Customers can check your blog regularly for news, including coupons, discounts, and other promotions. Uh, contributing posts at regular intervals adds more value to your content because it shows customers that the site is active and it's updated regularly. So if you want to do it, uh, stay tuned and we'll talk about how you can set it up. It's pretty quick and easy. So you'll see here I'm in my my WordPress admin dashboard here and I have this post section here on the left. If you just click on it, you'll see I have the default hello world post right here. This comes with a new WordPress installation. And of course, all we're doing here is we're using the default post functions that are built right into WordPress. So what we want to do is let's say add a new post. You'll just click the add new button up here. And I'll give this post the title. And once you've added a title, you can then add some content. You see that's a very general blog post there. You might want to go for something that has a little more content, maybe uh, somewhere in a few hundred words. And here it's, uh, it's important to add categories to your posts as well. I'm going to put this, uh, I'm going to create a new category by clicking Add New Category. I'm going to call this one Promotions. And click Add New Category. And under categories, we can have tags. Uh, you can decide how you want to use these. Uh, we have uh, a lot of information in the support center uh, about using categories and tags. But I'll just put some basic ones here. And then once you've added in your tags separated by a comma, after each one, click Add. Okay, and once you've added in all the content for your post, click the Publish button on the top right here. And you see you can view your post by clicking View Post. And you see here it'll have your the data was posted and the information it was tagged with and the category it was posted in. Now if you click on the main heading for your site, it'll take you to the to the main page, to the, basically the, the home page of your site. You'll see my domain here is WooCommerceBusiness.examples. That's just a test domain, it's not a real domain in any sense. WordPress by default will show your most recent posts on the home page. So as soon as your visitors, your customers come into WooCommerce Business.examples, which is my, my domain here, they will see all of your main posts here, all the most recent ones. Now if you want to change this and have a dedicated blog page so that when they come onto your domain, uh, for example, they will just drop onto your shop, let's say. You'll see I have the shop here on a separate page. And see it right now, my only product is an InMotion hosting shirt. But let's say you want customers to drop in right here when they come and you want them to go to, let's say, forward slash blog after your domain to see your blog. We can change that as well. All you'll do is go back to your dashboard and you can click the, um, the name of your site right here in the top left and click on dashboard if you want to just hover over it. 
and let's make a blog page. Just click on pages here on the left and click add new. And all we need to do is title the page blog and click publish. We can leave the content blank because that's going to be filled in automatically with our recent posts. And you'll notice here after we have published the, the blog page, you see it'll tell you the permalink here which will be the final URL for this page. So in order to get to it, you see your customers would have to type in woocommercebusiness.examples forward slash and the page ID. We don't want that. We want them to type in forward slash blog. So make sure to click this button here for change permalinks. And you may have already done this in your installation uh, to choose a post name or a different structure. But uh, just for, uh, for this example, I'm going to show you how to do it just in case. I'm going to click on post name. This way they can use forward slash blog when they go to the blog page. Then click save changes. Okay, now let's go back to our pages by clicking on pages here on the left. And let's click on our blog page just to make sure we have the permalinks right now. So now you see here you have the domain woocommercebusiness.examples forward slash blog. And now to set that as our blog as our blog page, click on settings here. Then under settings, click reading. And you'll see here front page displays is the option. So click shop. We're going to make that the blog. And now when we visit our Did you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.